welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are all getting excited for Valentine's Day. If not, it's okay. You can just watch my tutorials on Valentine's Day and I'll keep you company. So anyways, I am doing a tutorial on this look right here. I was just trying to focus on a very feminine and girly look for Valentine's Day. Nothing harsh, nothing like the most glamorous part of this look is false lashes, which you don't even have to apply. I just wanted to, to give myself a little bit of a glam but while still keeping the look really soft and simple. So anyways, if you guys are interested on how to achieve this look, just Okay, on. so the first shade that I'm going to be taking is called Candied Peach, which is this shade right here. And I'm just taking a, this is my one of the Tarte brushes that I have, and I'm just taking the really fluffy side of the brush, and then I'm just going to just put this all in the crease and just kind of be messy with it. I'm gonna turn this down a little. And this look, I just really want to be very feminine, very girly and pink looking for Valentine's Day. Um, just something simple that you could wear to work, you could wear it on a date night, whatever you want. Um, that's kind of what this look is inspired to be able to wear. Okay, and so to build it up so it's not so like, ah, pink and like peach-ish, um, just to give it a little bit more depth to the eye, I'm going to take Summer Yum, which still has a little bit of a peach undertone, but it's a little bit more of a pukey brown color which is a really weird way to describe a eyeshadow, but if you're into makeup and have been into makeup for a long time, you know that pukey brown make great transition shades. Don't mind me just scratching into my nose as always. That's just kind of what I do here on my channel. Then I am going to take up some Charmed I'm Sure, which is this dark brown, and I am just going to keep that on the outer corner of the eye. And I do have um, foundation on, but I haven't finished like the rest of my face, just because I do want to show that like kind of girliness that I'll use to achieve like the whole entire face. But um, that's kind of why I'm just being sloppy, because I'm gonna clean that up. But next, I'm just going to take a flat brush like this, and I'm going to take up the shade Georgia, which is this really light pink shade. It looks white in the camera, but I promise it's not. If you have the palette, you know it's not. <laughs> and then I'm just going to be applying that on the lid, and it's just so dainty and pastel pink. I love this shade so much. It's really, really feminine and girly looking, and I just totally was not showing you how, what I was doing, but whatever, I was just applying it to my lid. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take, um, white peach up here this corner it's very white and I'm just going to be putting that on the brow bone and I didn't do any eyeliner or anything with this look I did just want to keep it kind of um, simple I do have false lashes on obviously on this eye like <laughs> but I just that was like kind of the only glamorous part about this look because it is just very, I want it to look fresh and feminine and dainty and all of that. So I'm just using all the shades I used in the crease to build up this under eye. I'm kind of just smoking out the lower lash line. And then next, all I'm going to do is apply my false lashes and I am using the Vegas Nay Grand Glamour lashes, which are like this. And I do um and most likely if you buy these you will have to trim them to fit your eye um they are very long which is nice because you know you have like the option to make it fit to your eye and stuff like that but it sometimes it sucks like when you have to trim lashes like getting them even on both eyes but it's not that big a deal i, I barely took any off on each side just snip and snip. So 
Next, I am just, it does come, they did give like a lash glue, but I don't like it. So I'm just going to stick with my Duo Eyelash Adhesive in black. And I'm just going to dab some on the lash line. And if you've watched my tutorials before, you know that I've worn a lot of the, um, oh, what is that brand? <laughs> The Ardell lashes, and I do like those lashes. This band is so much thicker than that um, lash lash band. So that's the only thing I think complaint because they like feel heavy, I guess, which is at the same time kind of nice because like you know they're like well made and stuff, but it just feels kind of heavier on the eye than what I'm used to. So. I'm sure I will have no problem adjusting and just sucking it up and getting used to it. But anyways, I just let the glue kind of get a little tacky um, before you apply. And then just going to set this on. The good thing that I do like about these lashes is with the Ardell ones, I really have to like bend them and shape them to like be round like my eye shape. These have like a very natural like bend to them. So that part was nice because um, I didn't have to do that. They're just kind of very natural in, when it comes to that. But yeah, so anyway, then I'm just going to take my Lash Blast Mascara and put a coat on the bottom lashes. Just keeping it very girly, a girly Valentine's Day glam. So, like I'm like the only dramatic thing of this look, like I said earlier, is these lashes. That's just kind of the extra va va boom to this look today. Um, then for my face, I did apply the Dream Cushion Foundation by Maybelline in the shade True Beige. It's number forty. Um, so I have applied that to my face already. Next, I'm just going to take my MAC C4 powder, which I have been hitting pan on for quite some time. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face. And I do not have, I have not like concealed like my under eyes and all of that. I'm not going to just because I don't want like a super dramatic contour and highlight and all of that I'm just kind of trying to keep it more simple so what I'm going to do to get any sort of highlight is I'm just going to take my NYX it's not shade and light highlight and contour pro palette I would say shade and light because that's what the Kat Von D one is called but anyway I'm going to take this yellow shade right here and even though I don't have concealer on I'm just going to pounce some under the eye just to kind of bring a little brightness to the under eye without it being super, super dramatic like normal. <laughs> and then I'm just going to set like kind of the center of my face, just the normal way that I would as if I did apply concealer. Um, and then next I'm going to take, I do want this look to be like um, subtle. So one of my subtle bronzer shades that I would say is from the uh, Kat Von D shade and light palette and this middle bronzer is just like a perfect it's like a very natural looking bronzer in my opinion so I'm just going to use this to just warm up my face not really contour and stuff just kind of be a lot more sloppy like I'm not giving myself like a nice sharp contour just to keep like the feminine I don't know why I don't want like any sharpness. I guess, not that it doesn't look feminine, it's just, I don't know. I want it to look more soft today for Valentine's Day. So that is all I'm going to do for bronzer. And then for blush, that is going to be the most girliest part. And to stick with the pink tones, I... Uh, I really wanted to use this peach one, but this isn't going to really... No, I'm going to stick with the girly, girly theme that we got going on here. And I'm going to take my 
Milani Baked Blush in the shade Delioso Pink, which I have used plenty of times on my channel. It is this really Barbie pink shade. And just for Valentine's Day, and kind of giving that like springtime, even though we're not spring, just kind of feminine look that is so pigmented. Holy smokes. And to definitely tone that down, I'm going to take, um, I'm going to go back in with my MAC powder and I'm going to take my powder brush again and just go over that to soften it. And it tones it down a lot. <laughs> so that is that. <clears throat> and then for lips today, I am going to apply this um, Revlon Peach Lip Balm, I guess you could say, just to give my lips some moisture. Because although I did kind of say this was like a miss um, for the like January favorites, whatever video, um, this shade is just so perfect. And I do want to give it a try with a moisturizer underneath because it is a mattified lip it's the the Too Faced liquid liquefied long wear lipstick and it's the melted and this is in the shade melted peony so i'm just going to apply this with that revlon balm underneath So you can see like the color is just super girly, super feminine, super, how many times can I say super? <laughs> that was really annoying. But anyway, um, this is the final look. I really just love how feminine and girly it is. And I think it's just really dainty and like perfect for a Valentine's Day option wear. And you know, if you don't have the peach palette, the shades that I did use, like there are easily like something you could go to Target or you know, Walmart, whatever drugstore you shop at and find just shades that are similar to this one, this one, and then I use this right here and then this white. So you can always find things. It's like, you know, trying to give you guys like other options if you don't have this palette because I know this was limited edition from time to time and then they brought back, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you guys all have a fun Valentine's Day. If you watch Parks and Rec and you're single, I hope you all have a great Galentine's Day. Okay, on that note, I will see you guys all next time with another tutorial. Bye!